I don't know why I rely on the weather network for my weather forecasts. Because they're never fucking right. Anyway, I'm thirsty and hungry. So I'm going to go make some food. And uh, lately this has been what I've been doing. Is, um... Jesus. It's hard to do that when you have this great big jug in your hand. But, uh, I I've been going to work. Okay, well, I'll wake up at around noon. Noon one. Uh, go to work. No, sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Fuck, I'm a little out of it. I haven't had caffeine in three days, so it's fucking with me. Let's try this again. So I'll get up in the morning, come downstairs, have a piss, let the dog out while the dog's out. I make something to eat. And then when, uh, then I eat then, and then I won't eat again until I get home from work. So I usually have lunch around now, like 2.30, so that works out. So Mr. Iron Man has tires for my tractor, and he's bringing them up on the October long weekend, which is friggin' awesome. I already, I don't know if I have the tires for the back, but... The front rims, those are 8 inch rims, and he's got these 8 inch tires that have some serious fucking tread to them. So I might do a four, four wheel tire change and uh, fucking make this thing look badass. Yeah buddy. Shoe shit. What the fuck are you doing? I'm just gonna follow you around. Do you mind? I'm just gonna follow you. I think she just realized she's being filmed. You, do you like that kind? Do you like that kind? You purring? You purring? You're purring. Why are you purring? You're so cute. Happy. His name is Oreos. And he jumps around like a fucking idiot. His name is Happy. His name is Oreos. And he won't fucking quit jumping on me, puppy dog. What do you smell? What do you, what do you smell? Oh, I just realized what shirt I'm wearing. Looks like I got fucking shot with a paintball. Oh, dude, you just burped right there? Frig sakes. But, uh, no, it's, uh, e-liquid. Fucking got doused with e-liquid, son of a bitch. Hey, fuck off, I got work to do. Jesus Christ, that's all you ever do. Kitten! Kitten cat, kitten cat, she's my little fucking brat. Kitten cat, kitten cat, what the little fucking brat? She's a kitten cat. Kitten cat, 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 hey, 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 what are you doing? Scabbers, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it when my toast becomes toast. Should have said my bread becomes toast. I fucked that up, but I don't really give a big old for shit. What the fuck are you doing again? Jesus. Oh, it's going for shit. Yay, they picked up my garbage. Yay. Yay, my toast is up. Yay. Fuck, I love toasted bologna sandwiches. They're so good. But uh, we gotta get off to work, which really sucks a lot. That's the way she goes. Luckily, it's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, and then the weekend's here, and it's a long one for me. I'm still working five days the following week. I gotta work the following Saturday. But at least I get, uh, whew, uh, you know, get a long weekend this weekend, so that's kind of a bonus. Big times. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna head off to work. I'm gonna do a probably rolling vlog, I guess, maybe, whatever. If you don't like it, you can stop the video now. And if you do like that kind, you can watch it. But I got a great big son of a hooker truck behind me here. It's uh, that same company that took down the tree that one time in my neighbor over here's front yard. But uh, anyway, we gotta go. We got things. It's 14 degrees out. Uh, another little rolling vlog. I don't even know what to talk about today. Like, fuck man, my neck is sore as shit. Ever since I crashed on the mini bike, my neck hasn't been the same. And I've tried applying ice to it, tried applying heat to it. The only thing I haven't tried is that like muscle relaxant cream. But I don't really have any, I don't think. I don't really have much to talk about. No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is pretty bad. It's just, I don't, I don't know, it's like on the weekends we're doing things, we're fabricating, you know, building and fixing and all that shit and riding and all that and then I go back to work and it's like fucking Slumpsville and I just, I, I get so drained that I don't know what to vlog about. I'm just so, so ready to shut down, you know? Like, like you don't even, eh? Like you don't fucking even. Yeah, you got there like way before me, dude. I think you'd have the right away. Son of a bitch. I don't know, I gave one of the guys at work a panic attack because basically when the company switches hands, 
they're only keeping half the help desk. Well, I went and said, you know, I'm planning on staying. Just as a joke, eh? But really, I sent my email in saying I'm fucking Audi. I'm Audi 5000, bro. I do not want to be here no more. You know what I'm saying, boys? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Anyway, but he's like, what? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I figured, you know, it's better to have a job and all this than not have a job, even if I don't really like the job. Maybe it'll be better with Bill. Like, I'm sitting here talking up a good storm. He starts getting all freaky and just runs out of the room. And then the other co-worker's like, you're fucking lying, dude. You asked me who to email about that. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Yeah, I fucking know. But, uh, no, I, I, this help desk work, I'm done with that. Holy fuck, I would need to take a year vacation off of work just to be able to do that kind of work ever again. It's funny, though, because when I started working at, uh, at the job I was at back in 2002, started working there and uh, I never took breaks the first little bit I just fucking worked through my breaks and ate at my desk and worked through my lunches and just didn't give a shit and it was about six years in when I started getting really sour and that was uh, six years in it was around 2008 yeah because that's when the heavy drinking started the heavy drinking times It'd be nothing for me to get off work, go home and suck back a 15 pack. Like it was bad. So it was all related to this damn job. And that's the problem. Like that, that's the one thing we were talking about uh, yesterday was the job's not bad if it worked like a proper organization where there was always a chance to move up or get promoted or something. Some sort of a something to strive for, you know, but when you know you're climbing a ladder that has one level and you're already on it, well, after a while, you just say fuck it and you don't, just don't strive for anything. Like, it's, it's just do enough to keep your job and not a lot to impress anybody. Fuck them, you know? If you're at a place of employment and there's no reason to give her 100%, you will not get fired. If you give her 60%, then if you have no inspiration to give her, you're not gonna give her. You're gonna do just enough work to basically not lose that paycheck and that job. Fuck, I know, I, I used to do that at Walmart. I walked into Walmart and I really wanted to be in electronics. They put me in fucking uh, store standards, the cart retrieval dicks, that's what I was, a cart retrieval dick. So, uh, but I actually changed the cart retrieval technician because I wanted it to sound all electronics-like because I really wanted to work in the electronic department for fuck's sakes. And uh, I did that job for three years and just fucking gave her, gave her like 120% all the time just blood sweat and tears get the job done for a measly seven and a uh, 725 an hour which i know that's the american right now minimum wage but our minimum wage up here i think is like 11 bucks an hour some fucking nonsense but um yeah i'm like busting my balls and then this new guy joins on the store standards works there for three weeks and they fucking push him right into electronics like right in front of my face yeah we're gonna move you to electronics because you just don't have the upper body strength to move the carts and that's what they did. They put him right into it, and I was fucking furious. Like, I went to my boss and said, what in the fuck? Why did you put him in electronics when you've been knowing I've been wanting electronics forever? Like, I was in college at the time, too. So they knew I was in computer programming systems analyst. They knew I knew a lot about electronics. A lot of the times, the electronic dicks would call me there, not for a carryout or anything. They would call me to go and explain a product because they didn't understand exactly what it did. So it's like, I'm the perfect guy for the fucking job. You will not give me the job. You'd rather fucking slap me in the face and give it to the noob. I'm a little angry right now. So at that point there, then I then I started looking for a new, a new job. And that was kind of hard to do because uh, there wasn't really much out there that would work with my college hours. So one day I went into Staples and um, I, uh, my buddy was a uh, manager there, and I was like, hey man, how's it going? Frick, haven't seen you in a long time. He's like, oh yeah, man, I'm a manager at Staples. I'm like, oh shit, maybe you can get me a job. And he goes, well, do you want one? I'm like, yeah, man, I'd, I'd love a job. I'm like, I was with my dad at the time, right? Uh, we're in there, we're picking up something for him. I can't remember what the frig it was, but we're picking up something for him. And um, I'm just joking, I'm like, yeah, I want a job. And he looks at my pants and I was black jeans. He goes, bah, those will work for now. 
He goes uh, goes in the back office, grabs a red shirt, and he goes, uh, here, just wear this name tag and go sell some computers. I'm going to put you in computers. I'm like, wait, are you fucking serious? He goes, yeah, he goes, you can start tonight. He goes, don't worry about it. Just just push the product. The cashiers will do the rest. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, Dad, can you pick me well, like, what time I'm off work? But he's like, at 9. I'm like, all right. Dad, can you pick me up at 9? He's like, okay, have fun. So sure enough, I'm fucking sitting there. Um... <laughs> Now I'm working at Staples and Walmart, so I wanted to get out of Walmart bad, but I didn't want to quit because everybody said Walmart's the immo- Walmart's an impossible place to get fired from. And I was like, oh yeah, okay, challenge accepted, boys. Uh, I'm gonna get fired from Walmart. So uh, I would do things like I made a hobo hut in fucking layaway out of layaway mattresses and fell asleep there for four fucking hours on a five hour shift. Um, <laughs> we used to make like fortresses in the cart corrals and camp out there, you know, or go behind the mall and uh, set up a cart with a piece of plywood, like old dirty cardboard or plywood and play cards or whatever. Like the other guys there, like one guy wanted to join me on, on the quest to quit or the quest to get fired, but like, we couldn't do it. We tried everything, you know, fucking uh, hiding in the uh, the top parts of the shelves where the overstock goes and all sorts of stupid shit. We even put rotten meat in the fucking manager's office, like in the air ventilation system, just to like laugh about it and stuff. Like we were trying to get fucking fired. Finally, like, I was like, fuck it, like, I can't do this. And then one day, the Walmart scheduled me for four till uh, 10, Staples had me on five to nine, and I'm like, oh fuck, I got two shifts coinciding, what am I gonna do? I'm like, I got an idea. So I go into Walmart at four, I punched in. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go inside and clear some carts, and they're like, okay, have a good one. So then I went outside, jumped in the car, took off my smock, put on my red shirt, drove the Staples, punched in at five, worked there till nine, Punched out there, got back to Walmart at 9.30, spent the last half an hour quickly cleaning the bathrooms, bringing in all the shopping carts, <laughs> and then punch out there, I was double dipping, like totally being a fucking asshole. And the worst part is, is the management knew, because one day I fucked up and I wore my staple shirt underneath my smock, my that blue vest thing, yeah, wore it underneath it, and uh, I, w- I walk into there, and it's like my fucking name tag's half hanging out of the smock and shit, and uh, my boss is like, uh, hey, um, Adam, you-, you can't be wearing your other job shirt here underneath your smock. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah, but I'm like, you know what? What the fuck's going on, man? You know what's going on, right? And he's like, oh, I know everything that's going on. He goes, I know you're working both jobs at the same time and all that, and I'm like, well, then why aren't you firing me? He's like, well, I was hoping you would come to the light and see which place would be more beneficial for you. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? He's like, yes. He goes, I want you to make the choice. And I'm like, oh, fuck this shit. Just ripped off my blue vest and threw it in his face. And I'm like, I'm fucking out. (laughs) And uh, that was all she wrote. (laughs) Started working at Staples. Fucking Walmart. I have no idea where that started. I don't even know what, what started that story. I just thought that was a fucking awesome story. Possible to get fired from Walmart. I took the fucking challenge and failed it. That blows. I do not like failing the challenges. Fuck, it was only supposed to be a high of 8 degrees Celsius today. It's fucking 13. Got a little cooler when it came close to the lake. Yeah, the lake is just off yonder to the right off yonder. The fucking yonder years. Hey, the motherfucking yonder years, bitch. Uh, I just don't feel like dealing with that shit. Oh, 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 you're so bumpy. Yeah, we're supposed to get snow today. Like a fucking e-dart, we didn't. But anyway, people, I'm at work now, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed that little story time and the nonsense this morning. I don't even know what to make vlogs about anymore. All I want to do is build and fucking construct shit and have fun. It's hard to do that when you work here. Yep.
Anyway, people, I'm going to shut her down. So thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, click the like button. Questions, comments, concerns down below the go. Could be used on a commenting on comments. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.